What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video. This is a topic that I've been wanting to cover for quite some time but I haven't actually had the time to do it and also my mom gave me a whiteboard today so I thought this would be the perfect time to do this video. So if you can see the title it is how much money do you make on pharmacy rotations and I am joined here by my trusty assistants Chloe, we have Jasmine and we have Sophie. If you can see her, she's facing away from the camera. She's camera shy. Okay, so we're gonna get right into this. Um, so a little bit of backstory. Chloe is trying to get up on the couch. So a little bit of backstory. Um, so with pharmacy school, it's a six year program at Rutgers. I am on year six, which is rotations. I'm gonna put Chloe down because they're about to fight. And it's a six year program. The final year is, of course, year six, and it's a year of rotations. As you can see, look at my playlist of my pharmacy rotations so far. I think I have seven out of the nine rotations covered so far. Nearing it on graduation, very excited. But I have gotten the question in the past, how much do you make while you're doing pharmacy rotations? Because we are working full time. We are not in the classroom anymore as students. And that's what we're gonna be breaking down today. Let me just get straight into it. So we have our trusty whiteboard. Again, pharmacy is six years, five years of pretty much classes. Final year is a straight year of rotations. You're not really in the classroom. This starts in May and it goes until the end of April of the following year. So 2017, now gonna end in late April 2018. So we're gonna go first break this down. So first we're gonna start with cost right here. So the cost, again, I said that does start in May. So there are three cycles so for the rotations for the full year there are nine five-week cycles the nine five-week cycles you only have to do eight of them you have to fill and they start in may of say 2017 and again they end in april 2018 so you start the first three rotations are during the summer that means those classes are a lot more expensive so my summer classes i only took two out of the three because i knew they were the most expensive i had collegiate worlds for powerlifting and so I took that middle cycle off, pretty much the July cycle, so I would save a little more money because those are more expensive, and also so I could go on that trip to South Africa, which was cool. Summer was $7,001.75. That was for the first two rotations, and then of course we have the regular semester fee because we are taking full-time credits according to the university, even though we're not actually in the classroom. So the full-time student cost, this is in state. So Rutgers is the state university of New Jersey. So you do get a nice price cut when you are an in-state student, which I am. So that's pretty much a different perspective on this as well. This is also a little cheaper, um, these prices. The two semesters are both $9,400, $9,400, $55.50 each. So the grand total of all of that would be $25,912.75. So that's our cost. That is how much your final year costs for, again, an in-state student. I think if you're out of state, this is gonna be closer to maybe double or so. Very rough estimate, but I know it is a lot more expensive. So that's gonna be our negative. So now we're gonna talk about our income as a pharmacy student on rotations we go in we're typically in some cases we can be free help we can do some tasks but we are not licensed pharmacists so we cannot do everything that a pharmacist does in these locations a lot of them are in the hospitals a lot of them are in the shop right cvs we have like community rotations where we can pretty much we can count we can fill we can help with a lot of those tasks so it's pretty nice to have a student in there um especially when our income per hour is so per hour we make zero dollars so we do not make any money on these rotations but again we are learning during it so that is our income during that and so the time we are working full time so that's 40 hours per week and we have nine total rotations which are five weeks each but you can take one off cycle which i did so that would be eight weeks that would be eight cycles times the five weeks. So that's gonna be 40 weeks. So the total amount of hours we have is gonna be 1600 hours. So we're gonna break this down into an hourly wage because that was what I was asked in the past. How much do you make per hour as a rotation student? So we're gonna break this down. So we are gonna divide our 
income uh, by how much time this worked. So we are going to divide $25,912.75. Going to divide that by the 1,600 hours. And we're going to come up with... So pharmacy students make, in the state of New Jersey, if you are a state university, we make negative $16.20 per hour. What the f With that being said, again, that's pretty much just saying that we do not get paid as pharmacy students, but again, I'm not trying to complain about this because we are getting an education, and while we're at these rotations, the pharmacists that are there, the pharmacists in charge, everything, they are giving us lessons that are gonna help us in our future careers as pharmacists, and during those rotations, we are learning where we wanna practice in the future. Right, Sophie? and we are figuring out where we want to practice because we're pretty much sampling all the pharmacy has to offer. I've been in the industry setting, I've been in the hospital setting, and I have been in the community setting, and it's good to get all those different um, perspectives to see what I want to do in the future as with my PharmD when I graduate. So yes, we do make negative money this year. Um, it's probably our most expensive year because again, you have to take those summer classes which are more expensive. Um, tuition is what it is, but again, that is what college is. Some people say it's a scam. Some people do not. So it is always up to you. But I'm trying to keep you guys informed. If anyone is wondering if they want to go into pharmacy school in the future, I want you to have an idea of what you're getting into. Pretty much the actual pharmacy years, the last four years, my first two years, again, a six-year program. First two years are undergrad, um, more basic classes, and then you go into the real four years of pharmacy school. Three of those years in the classroom. Last year is full rotations. So that's what to expect. This is what you expect to make during that year. But again, it's all gonna be worth it in the end. And I'm not trying to complain. These are just the facts. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like the video, please. Um, be sure to subscribe if you wanna see some future content regarding fitness, pharmacy stuff, and anything uh, along those lines. Also food challenges. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.